In this video, we're going to go over setting up RSS feeds in Excel. RSS feeds are an easy way to stay up to date with your favorite websites such as blogs or online magazines. If a site offers an RSS feed, you get notified whenever a post goes up, and then you can read a summary of the, of the whole post. Uh, while not quite as popular as in the past, they are still used a lot. Uh, you can set it up in Excel to post the latest articles or topics right into your Excel spreadsheet. So what we're going to do is go over um, an example and here's an RSS feed I found for a stock market. It'll give you the latest stock market news. So this is from MarketWatch website. And here's the RSS feeds. You can get the top stories, real-time headlines, breaking news, market pulse. Let's just click on top stories. And you click on the top stories and it's going to give you the actual feed. And here's the feed. So I'm going to copy this. And then we're going to go back into Excel. So what you need to do is go to the Developer tab. If, that, if that's not set up on your uh, layout, you, you're going to need to uh, add it. So you're going to go to Developer, then Source. And then here's XML Source. You're going to go down to XML Maps. And we're going to click Add, because we're going to want to add this link. So instead of finding the file, we're just going to paste Control V, paste the link into file name and press open. And it should say the specified uh, source does not um, refer to a schema. Excel will create a schema based on your source data. Sure. To click OK. And then once it's in, you are know, now connected. You click OK. And it's going to give you the different uh, fields that you can get. Uh, here's from the channel. There's not as much data in there. Here's image information. But the most important stuff is the item information. So what you do, you just take the field that you want. Like I'm going to take the title, drag it over here, and then I'm going to take the description, drag it over. You can um, experiment to see what some of these fields do. Um, I'm going to just add them all. The link and the publish date. And now we got the titles. All we need to go is go up to data and then refresh. And it's going to pull in your information. So that see it says the table inserted rows into your worksheet. So here's the latest stock market titles for articles. The stock market doesn't look very bubbly to billionaire investor uh, Ray Dalio. And here's the description. Um, it's a short little description. You can, of course, you can format this however you want. If you want to, instead of seeing it across, maybe you want to wrap the text make these fields a little bit smaller and there so now you still have the the description here's the link to it and here's the publishing date all of these are not from today all within the last couple hours so that's just one easy way there are other ways to get RSS feeds in there but this is one of the simpler ways that I found uh, you just have to find a website that offers RSS feeds and then you can uh, add it in so I hope you like this quick little uh, tip, and if you got any questions, uh, let me know. Thanks a lot. Bye.